You'll follow us. Thank you. Gunshots fired at him so close he could hear bullets buzzing right past his ears. Tonight, an owner of a Kingfisher wrecking company is sharing his terrifying experience while on the job. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale talked with him today. Natalie, what happened here? Well, Kevin, Tyrell McLean says it's pretty routine for him to get called in for a job in the early hours of the morning like he did over the weekend. But he describes what happened as he was towing the car back as pure craziness. The guy was obviously intended to, I would say, kill us. Tyrell McLean, the owner of M6 Wrecker and Recovery, says his Saturday morning was already off to a rocky start. A standard impound, 2 o'clock in the morning. I get about four blocks down the road and I had a, a set of duels on the back of a truck come loose. Broken down near Boulevard and North 6th Street in Cashin, a man started yelling at McLean and yelled again when one of his employees arrived to help him. When he got out of the truck, he said, hey, did you upset somebody down the road? Not that I know of, you know, there was, there was a guy yelling. They decided to ignore the man and began to transfer the car being towed from the broken down truck to the one McLean's employee brought. And that's when McLean's morning escalated from bad to much worse. And we're standing at the back controls of the wrecker and we hear a shot go off. The bullet went just directly over my employee's head. We could hear it whistle. We're standing, you know, a foot apart. Stunned, confused, and crouched down for dear life, they heard about seven more gunshots. These pictures show where the bullets hit the truck. We now know the alleged man behind the trigger was Chad Botchlett, the man who McLean's employee asked about earlier. The craziest thing about it is the guy had no affiliation whatsoever um, to the impound. It's just wild to think that this guy's going to go out and just shoot at some random person. When police eventually made it to the scene, a botchlet was inside a home. You need to do what I'm telling you to. The incident report shows after about 20 minutes of calling for him, walk towards those cars in the street. Botchlet finally came out and was arrested. He's facing a long list of charges, including assault and battery with a dangerous weapon and use of a firearm while committing a felony. The report adds Botchlet smelled of alcohol and his eyes were slightly bloodshot and watery. It's just one of them incidents that we really hope that, that they push this guy to the max and get all they possibly can. Well, thankfully, no one was hurt, and court records show that this wasn't Botchlet's first time getting in trouble with guns. In September, he was charged for reckless conduct with a firearm. Thank you, Natalie. There are